It's exciting to visit with you about our upcoming sale in January. And so today is November 21st, uh, 2022. And we're here to talk about the early bird sale in January. And when we talk about that sale, and we think about the bullishness of the cattle market. Uh, the cattle on feed report came out just this past Friday, and it's 94% of a year ago. And uh, when you look at the cattle harvested number, is right at 680,000, which was up. So we're harvesting more with less supply. The board is up today. Uh, markets have never been more bullish in my life. And so when you think about that and you think about the demand driven markets for these value added beef cattle, cattle with calving ease, early growth, marbling muscle, and the maternal genetics to replicate the process, that's exciting. So in January at the early bird sale, we're gonna sell 325 of the very best Angus bulls that we know. And, and oftentimes having multiple sales, people ask us, how do you, do you select bulls for each sale? Well, it's by age. And we push ourselves to each time have those cattle be as good as they possibly can be. And, and quite frankly, better than the previous sale. And so we're excited about these bulls in this sale. Uh, they're in the top 15% of the Angus breed for calving ease while simultaneously being in the top 15% of the Angus breed for yearling growth. But I think what is truly exciting, um, we have a stated goal that we're gonna achieve here in the next few years, but these bulls are 1.44 for marbling, which places them in the top 2% of the Angus breed. And they're right at 1.0 for ribeye, which puts them in the top 10% of the Angus breed. And so I often hear uh, us classified as terminal breeders and we're not terminal breeders. We believe that, you know, you may have it all. And so when we look at the maternal capacity of the, of the genetics of these bulls they're selling, they have an MPI of 14, which is the top 14% of the method genetics database. Uh, and that's a highly selected database for all these traits we're talking about. Cavinese, early growth, marbly, muscle, and quite frankly, the maternal pounds index or the maternal capacity to replicate the process. When you look at that all encompassing ROI of the method database, these 325 bulls rank in the top 6% of this database. And so if you haven't heard of the retained ownership index, that's method genetics index that takes everything from fertility, from, from conception through growth uh, to consumption. And it is actually the most highly correlated index that, that I know of and that we work with with our commercial customers for profit potential. If you take the ROI and you take the progeny of those cattle and you look at that when they are harvested, it's just the higher the ROI, the greater the, the dollar signs are for those cattle. Um, a, set, a great customer nearby here sh shared with us just uh, last week cattle that they had harvested and these cattle performed tremendously well in the feed yard. Uh, fed at Pokey Feed Yard uh, near Scott City. Uh, those cattle gained way over four pounds per day, converted exceptionally well. They weighed up at 1,449 live weight and hung at 916. But when you think about the value that they added, the, the base price was $1.50.02 uh, when those cattle sold on November 8th. And I think the exciting thing and the reality of it is when you take that back on a live basis, they brought $1.74. They were $350 ahead or $24 a hundredweight above the base price. So those 155 head of cattle netted another $55,000 because of what they were able to do on the rail. And on the rail ends up being what makes the value for not only uh, the next user, but ultimately makes the demand that we're enjoying so much of, quite frankly, the greatest demand in the history of the beef industry. That demand is, is by those cattle that have the ability to marble. And you'll hear lots of noise and chatter and things out there, but ultimately that demand is driven by taste. Taste is driven by marbling and it's free. People will say things about uh, the correlation with that and, and maternal traits and reproduction. There is a correlation, it's 0 .0001, which means it's as close to zero as it could possibly get. So there's really not a correlation. That marbling is free, that marbling is real. And we have selected these 325 bulls for the 
early bird sale in January of 2023 to be able to add these genetics to your calf crop in the future. And when we think about this, uh, you know, the pregnancies that we have in the world today, uh, you know, those calves are gonna be way, worth way over $2 a pound uh, when they're ready to be sold. We're gonna see prices that we have never seen in our history. And I realize the input costs are up. I realize various things are bumpy like drought, but the demand that we in the beef industry have been able to establish the way we have differentiated beef between the other proteins. We are the protein of choice. We are the protein that the world wants. If you look at today's market on November 21st, because of our ability to export this high value beef, that's worth another $500 per head on each and every carcass sold in the United States today. These cattle, these bulls, 325 bulls selling in the early bird sale in January and the 220 bred commercial Gardner Influence heifers, all AI bred to the best bulls of the breed. These are the absolute best genetics in the history of our family and we're excited to offer them to you. We hope you will join us. Uh, if you have any questions or we might help you in any way, please give myself or any of my sons or Greg a call and we'd be thrilled to help you. Thank you so very much. We appreciate you as a customer. We appreciate you in the beef business, and we look forward to seeing you in January.